a Big Spark Studios original. Hey, 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 ding dong. <clears throat> ding dong. Ding dong. Bitch, say Chen Li, drop the bends off. Man, I've been on Laura Bincroft. We're good. For what? Oh. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> All right, cool. Hey, everybody, what the fuck is up? Booger, don't be a menace, okay? Welcome back to Unhand with Chris Clemens. The podcast that I literally almost just drowned on my own saliva from. Um, oh, shit. I should have moved the mic before we started. Am I still connected? Are we good? We're rolling? Okay, wow. Smoking of whoopsies before is not the best idea. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to Unhinged with Chris Clemens, the podcast that I have not messed up once today on. Uh, if you before... Fuck. <laughs> If you want to <laughs> never miss another one of these masterful episodes of Unhinged with Chris Clemens, be sure to subscribe to wherever you listen to podcasts. And also, I put the video episodes up on my YouTube channel. Sorry, I have so much saliva. I mean, it is like a fucking saliva party. I really feel like I'm getting like waterboarded. But like, <laughs> wow, this is a rough start, guys. I apologize, but at the same time, I feel like this is like equal blame. Like, I'm definitely the ringleader, but y'all knew what you were here for. The fucking podcast is called Unhinged. People are like, oh, there's no structured... Hi, I named it Unhinged for a fucking reason. To have the bar on the floor. Uh, what did she just do? She was just being really feisty. Oh, booger, today. are you feisty today? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah what is your... Like no, you're not going to bark. <gasps> no, bug. I mean, get up. All right, we're going to take a Xanax really quick and maybe be back. No, I'm kidding. Um, before we get into the episode, I want to just shout out Pause LA. Pause LA was founded in 1989 and is dedicated to preserving the loving bond between people and their companion animals. Right? Right, Bug? No, that's where you could bark and maybe be cute and act like you're talking. Okay, cool. We provide services to assist low-income seniors, veterans, and people disabled by illness keep and care for their pets. I think I misread that, but you can go to pausela.org to learn more and to donate. The link will also be in the description of this episode um, as well if you want to donate. I just think, you know, Booger has changed my life uh, for mostly the better. Definitely the barking during the podcast is a little unprofessional. Uh, uh, bug. <laughs> bug. Not even phased. Um. I read a lot of... No, I didn't actually read any of your comments. I was saving that for today because as, you, what, the last two episodes, we've kind of reformatted to be a little bit different, and I really liked them. Did you... How did, You edited them. Did you feel like they were good? Loved them. Absolutely. Loved them. <laughs> you love it because it's fucking easier to edit, bitch. <laughs> You're like, oh, I don't have to fucking do screen and screen ranking? What? <laughs> but were they, like, better as a to watch? Like, to listen? Uh, I well, don't they, jump at once, guys. I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I thought that they flowed really nicely, and like the, the not having a, like a firm structure actually like. I just felt like it was like more loose and actually enjoyable. It was more conversational. Yeah, which I feel like is that's what a podcast should be. I'm not fucking Jay Leno. I'm not literally fucking Jay Leno, or I'm not Jay Leno. Either way, um, Jay Leno is not on the set. Uh, I figured though I would read some comments since we record on Fridays. Well, that's like what we've been doing lately and we upload these on thursdays i figured i would kind of go through the comment section since i don't normally read comments because <laughs> it can go south so why not monetize it going south um let's see this is for the one that was i'm moving out of la and you said that there were a lot of oh my god 400 comments unhinged has never <laughs> i feel like la would be fun to live in for a few years but just seems exhausting long term the high cost of living itself is insane there's so much beauty even in the rest of the U.S. Uh, Megan said that. Yeah, it like is fun, but I, for me, I think I'm going to always live in a city to some capacity, so that's always just going to be expensive. It's what you get for not living on the prairie, you know? No shade towards the prairie. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Booger, Booger has some beef with the prairie. She's like, don't send me back. Don't send me back to the prairie, please. <laughs> All right, Bug. Heard you loud and clear. Um... 
The advice for the girl who can't smoke and drink with friends was really sweet. Oh, my God. They appreciate how I answered it. Am I? Oh, I was going to say something complimentary, but I forgot that I have, like, a quarter of a brain. Um, I'm moving cities in a day for college, and I'm so stressed, scared, and nervous. Your videos and podcasts are keeping me sane. Oh, thanks, but why? <laughs> Question. Bugger. In your house. In your house. Well, no, oh, not in your house. All right. Pause. Oh, my God. Pause. LA.org. LA. Before we carry on with the rest of the episode, I want to say a quick shout out to our sponsor, which is Pussy Power Lip Shover. Now, <laughs> I'm kidding. There are no sponsors. Ah! So I just wanted to have fun. This beat is sick. Who wants to take a ride on my disco? St- no, Chris, back to the episode. Alrighty, we are back from Booger's Bathroom Break. A triple B, if you will. Um, Samantha Shelley says, unsurprised that Chris hates cats. He's hilarious and attaches himself to most of the right causes, but sometimes he really lacks empathy outside of a narrow range of people and animals. Wow. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Isn't the internet fun? People can just tell you anything. Ugh, no matter how heartwarming. Um, I'm really sad you're leaving because I live in North Hollywood and have always wanted to meet you and smoke you up. You actually had a dream about it, you dirty bird. Um, But I'm happy that you're moving toward greener pastures for yourself. Oh, my God. Greener pastures, indeed. My new backyard. Sorry. I mean, no noise was better than that. Um, So happy people are leaving a California. I can't afford to live in my hometown anymore, and it's so disheartening. Hopefully rent will go down when they all leave. Hopefully it does. I hope that for you. Um, Chris, you've been talking about this for so long. Hope everything... Have I? Have I just been that miserable this whole time? People are like, God, get out. Yeah, I guess I have. That adds up. Love this really relaxed style of podcast so much better. I don't know why I'm sitting here reading comments. This is like totally something I could be doing on my own time. Um, what have I been up to? Oh, I went to the Super Bowl, which I know is just as shocking for you to hear as it was for me to go. Um, I went with Twitter which was funny because I may or may not have had a a phone call with Twitter reviewing some of my tweets about Twitter and the NFL, but I'm proud about that. I literally, the NFL like had caught wind of a few of my tweets and was like, yeah, we don't know if he's like the best candidate. And they were like, sorry, it's who we want to bring. And I was like, okay, Twitter, step up to the plate for me for once. Um, and no, I called my mom immediately. I was like, oh my God, mom, the NFL knows I hate them. Incredible. Um, so I didn't have to delete any of those tweets. So those are still up. But the ones about Twitter, I definitely was just like, okay, you're right. They were really funny to read with a Twitter rep. I'm not going to lie. It was like, I always come on Twitter and then remember, what an awful fucking idea. <laughs> and another one was like, just think about how much better the world would be if Twitter didn't exist. <laughs> Anyways, I went to the Super Bowl with Twitter, and um, it was, like, so fun. I even lost my voice, which, I mean, wasn't even close to being on a fucking bingo card. Um, It was the Rams versus... Fuck, I don't even know. Bangles. Banders? Bangles. 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 Oh, the Bengals. Dur, dur, dur. The Tigers. Yeah, that's why... (laughs) That's why there was so much Tiger print. I was like, okay, Tiger print is back in. Didn't know it ever was, but... Um, so we had a, like a suite at the Super Bowl, which was a no, I sh- the, Chris, there's some things you just shouldn't say. And <laughs> um, we had a suite at the Super Bowl and Jack Harlow was supposed to be in the box next to us, like, but he never showed up. So he took his Nikes that they had custom made for him. We all got like Nikes and stuff. And well, no, I didn't take it. Oh, God, I need to stop incriminating myself, like literally in for literal 4K. Um, but the game was super fun. It was um, just like me and four four other creators and it I didn't get to see like any of the famous people everyone was like did you see JLo and I was like no even if I did I wouldn't have fucking cared um I did who did I see oh I saw Nikita Dragon in the Amazon suite three boxes down so talk about a plastics problem uh (laughs) thank you for that just (laughs) appreciate that oh and Bryce Hall that was also really fun to just be in that close of a proximity they had sushi, which was really good. I did eat gluten, which wasn't really good. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, my God. Twitter also held, like, a contest for, I mean, to go to the Super Bowl, I guess. I don't really know what it was for or, like, what the parameters were. 
my God, my phone. How unprofessional. Um, but they invited these contest winners, and it was this daughter and dad who, like, live in L.A., diehard Rams fans. Like, their dream was to go to the Super Bowl and watch the Rams win. And so, like, not – I, like, truly – for the collective six people in the suite that weren't contest winners, I don't even think collectively we had 1% of a fuck to give about this game. Like, literally, none of us could have been less concerned. Everyone was like, Chris, did you bring Uno? Did you bring Catan? And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I like, that's the level of involvement we had in this. And so, towards the end of the game, we realized that we're all literally, like, screaming. Like, absolute, oh, I was going to say barbarians, but literally an NFL fan. It was crazy. I like kind of get it. Still don't fully. Let's let's not get it twisted. But oh my god, it was like the last two minutes of the game. <laughs> Spoiler alert for anybody listening who hasn't seen it. Um, it was the last two minutes of the game, and they were down by like three or four points or something. And oh my god, they pulled through, and the dad and daughter were literally crying. I was like almost crying. I didn't even know these fucking people. <laughs> like oh my god, it was just like the most magical moment. Except for the next two days when I didn't really have a voice. That just, again, was not on the bingo card and did not intend on. It wasn't supposed to happen like that. The halftime show, everybody asked me, oh, my God, how was it? I could barely fucking hear it in those moments. That shit is like an award show. It is made strictly for television. Like, Kendrick Lamar was, like, on the other side of the set. Like, I didn't even see Kendrick Lamar. Like, Snoop Dogg was, in fact, like... I mean, there's no point in fucking showing you how big Snoop Dogg was because it's not existent to you. So that was, like, kind of a bummer because it's... Seem like I could hear a little bit, so I kind of knew the songs they were playing, but I still need to watch it. I don't know what it's like fully a week later. <laughs> I'm like, I've been meaning to watch it literally all week, huh? I'm trying to think if there's anything else exciting that happened. Oh, I snuck wheat. That Chris doesn't need to be included. It was actually kind of scary though, because I was like, okay, I know we have a like a box and they have like alcohol in there. They said it was an open bar, and I was, like, was a little generous. Um, but there, I had like a lot of tequila, a lot of champagne. Um, but I was like, okay, this is gonna be like a THC kind of day for Chris. It was turning out to be both kind of day for Chris, but I ended up sneaking an edibles and my vape pen in a sunglass case. I should what? Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a voicemail. Let's hear what y'all have to say <laughs> real quick. Like, Hi, Chris. Um, Hi. My question for you is, do you have a food that you can just never eat again? Mushroom. Like, you can oh. never look at it the same. Because mine is Quiznos <laughs> and frozen lasagna. Once oh. frozen lasagna comes back out of your mouth the way that you don't want it to, um, I don't think you ever want to eat it again. But frozen lasagna sucks anyways. Um, don't eat frozen lasagna. I can't. It has it gluten. It tastes terrible. And the dairy, which are... <laughs> Okay. Anyway, okay, yeah. This isn't about me. Answer the question. No, it Please. seems like it's about you, yeah. babe. Okay, love you. All Bye. right, love, love you. Please drive safe. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, a food that I can never look at the same. Uh, Thin Mints, Girl Scouts are a pretty big one that comes to mind. I, in my last house, got really stoned in bed and then... Obviously, like a responsible adult, I had Girl Scout cookies on hand. And I ate a whole box, start to finish, of Thin Mints. And let me tell you, when you are throwing up an entire box of Thin Mints, the morning after eating them, but waking up all night to burp fiery, minty burps, and then you vomit fiery, minty lava, bro, you will never... I think I have eaten them since, but... That's not the fucking point, okay? That is, like, really one of those that I'm like, whew. There was also, shit, there was one that, I feel like it was, like, recent. Oh, well, no, I've eaten pasta a lot since then. On New Year's, at my best friend's new house, they have, like, a deck off their, like, living room. And it's, like, on a second story. (laughs) And I had pasta and meat sauce, like vegan meat sauce. And I ended up throwing that up off the deck. And the deck? it was just in chunks on the ground. And my friend stepped in it the next day. I, I That's not stopped me from eating pasta. I have like eaten it almost exclusively since. But yeah, Thin Mints. I don't know why I told that second story. <laughs> 
<laughs> about me being on the second story. How fun. This is really a rewarding that podcast. Was that was this year? Oh, yeah. No, that was like literally two months ago. <laughs> month and a half, if we're being just honest. Uh, here's a secret to forget about all of my trials and tribulations. I am in love with a guy who's 18 years older than me. He works for my stepdad, too, and is good friends with my mom. I've seriously become obsessed with him after he spent the holidays with our family. I just can't stop thinking about him. I need to fucking get over him, but I just can't. Okay, bitch, get in fucking line. Yeah, we're all thinking about somebody that we'd love to be with. Sadly, we're all here, okay? (laughs) You guys are like, please let us go to my bunny and my girlfriend. (laughs) I get it. Soon. Um, Yeah, that... I don't know what to, I don't, you need to like give me more details, like your age. That is a big one. Because if you're one and this guy is 18, that's a a no. That's a no. That's some James Charles shit. I take every opportunity I can to just remind everyone that he is a literal pedophile. Anyways, um, let's do another voicemail. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, Chris. Love the pod. Listen hey. to it at work. And I work a desk job, so just take that into consideration. Okay, my well, question you did for you has nothing to do with that. Um, when you know that you're going to hook up with someone as a man, do you shave before? Because, like, in the past I did, but now that I'm in a relationship, I like hate shaving. And I'm talking like your balls, or do men shave their balls? Your dick? I don't know, okay? But I'm talking about my vagina, whatever. Um, <laughs> okay. What uh, do you shave? And what's your opinion? Do you think that person needs to shave? Like, do you have a preference? <laughs> okay. This is, like, the la- like the weirdest, like, so personal, like... Yeah, no, you're telling me. Sorry. No, don't okay, be. Okay, have a good one. Thanks. Bye. I'll try. <laughs> 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 Um, I feel like this question is very reminiscent of what got Nash Greer into for some pretty hot water. But let's see. No, I don't think anybody loves shaving. Let's just get that one out of the fucking way. Um, I think that's why the laser hair removal industry is so large. But <clears throat> let's see. I mean, if I was in a relationship, not that I've ever been, so I don't know. But if I were, I probably wouldn't shave as much. But like, I think it's good to landscape you know like at your house you're not just gonna have your fucking shrubs going every which way you know you're gonna shave them into a nice ball (laughs) you know yeah you're gonna mow your grass you're gonna you still got grass but it's pretty you know it's not like george of the jungle kind of shit so i would i would if like i knew i was about to if i knew it was like a guaranteed penetration is about to happen in some capacity yeah, I will like. <laughs> I'll give myself the full detailing. Uh, if it was more of a continued hookup, I'd probably just like do the essential employees, and then I'd just let everyone else go. You know, <laughs> I, I just. I mean, you're in a relationship. Do you shave? Mm-hmm. Or no, I don't. Sh- I scissor trim the pubes up like up top oh we didn't need to use that word then, but i oh. did actually we shouldn't use this funny enough I'm sorry. I, yeah what the fuck sam i just shaved my balls for the first time in my life that's scary like, that's two weeks ago that's really like some that is an industry that could be improved because i was always curious um and they're smooth as eggs ew i could have lived without that description most because i know that that that's what that would I be eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh we have fun here um yeah shaving your balls is hard you have to like i learned that you should do it in the bath <clears throat> in warm water and you p- pull the skin and then you <laughs> just listen sam are you an adult or a child pull the skin well it's just like pull it out okay not it like, pull like it. it would hurt no that's the sh- that's i mean like it's a parachute sh- in gym class you just like fucking <laughs> woo! you know it's like making a pizza at home you just stretch that shit however it's surprisingly malleable yeah the 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 innards are what's more sensitive (laughs) i would say what this is this is real life guys okay suck it up and deal with it like an adult yeah i prefer i like my preference is i don't mind body hair but i i like it when it feels not like it's going to, like, swallow me up. <laughs> like, sometimes you see something and you're like, I need to say something, you know? So that's, yeah. 
And I, I hold the same standard to myself. I'm like, okay, not gonna, not gonna show people where the wild things are. Mm-mm. You know, can't do that. Got to save some dignity. <laughs> nah, psych. No, I mean psych to the keeping any dignity. Not to my answer. Anyways, thanks for getting fun and intimate. I hope my family's watching. Oh, when will death come? I uh, like to pleasure myself every morning to start my day until my vibrator died on me. Help. Hi, in the amount of times in the amount of time that it took you to write the secret, you could have literally gone downstairs to get batteries or a plug or a charger or postmate batteries or Or just do it Amish style. Yeah, just like literally Amish it up, bitch. Break Amish. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that one you really need to see the video episode to get the full experience. Should we do another voicemail? Yeah. I feel like that might be a wise idea for all of us. Hey Chris. So I've been doing OnlyFans for two years now, and recently, within like the last six months, I told my mom about it, and she ended up making her own instead of kicking me out of the house, which is kind of dope. But I recently found out that whenever all my other family members ask her where I get my money from, how I can afford my car and my tattoos, she just avoids it because she doesn't want to, you know expose me which i appreciate oh my god that's but i asked her what my family thinks that i do instead of work and she told me that they all genuinely think that i'm a drug dealer because i am the stoner of the family so i don't know i think being known as a drug dealer is way more dope than being an OnlyFans girl proud of either one you know supports how people get their bag but I don't know. That's my confession. I'm going to smoke a bowl now. Have a good day. Love you guys. Love you. Have a good day. This wasn't the secret submission, but I love the adaptation you're taking. Um, I have <clears throat> questions. So your mom has an OnlyFans. Does she also flick her bean on the fan or is she there to follow yours? Are you guys collabing? What, what in the West Virginia is going on? That is question just number one, two, and maybe even three. Second of all, what if you told your family you were a drug dealer on OnlyFans? Like, let's just break barriers at this point. Like, let's spice up Thanksgiving. Let's add some seasoning to that turkey. I say in February. Um, But, yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to go Girl. What do you mean, sell drugs on OnlyFans? Like no, but like be a dr- no, be the- a drug dealer and do OnlyFans. Oh, like d- double down, baby. Yeah, talking to your mic, Sam. Do what I want. Ooh, yeah. You're gonna <laughs> never mind. <laughs> um, yeah. Was there? I had other questions, but then I forgot. Just thinking about. It sounded like the mom. At, I at first I thought the mom made her own account to like do her business. Yeah, but That's, maybe. It's weirder if she made it to follow. It's the, weird in both daughter. capacity. If she's like, I'm going to do what my daughter does. And then like, which is fine. Literally no shame in the game. But to get inspired by a job like OnlyFans from your daughter. Teach their own. Teach their own. No judgment here. I, I mean, literally, who am I to judge? I almost shit my pants last night in bed. Um, so there's my confession. Hope you enjoyed that one. I was like, yeah, Chris, we probably guessed that you were going to shit your pants in some capacity in this episode. All right, this secret, my 25 female, now ex-best friend, got married to a man she knew for four months and ended up pregnant, but she had been fooling around with another guy just before this. I'm the only one that knows, and I'm watching her now husband raise a child that isn't his. That is (laughs) so dark. You have to say something. Like, even if it's like Sammy, Snooky, J. Wow, Jersey, Wow, Jersey Shore style, just type up a letter, slide it under a door, bolt the fuck out of town. That, oh my God, this is like literally why I have trust issues, I think. I hear shit like this and I'm like, you're telling me I could be raising a kid and still be questioning? Is this right? Oh my God. Y'all, what the fuck? I'm watching her now husband raise a child that isn't his. That could truly just send me into a spiral of existential crisis. Like, doesn't that make you think, like, am I my parents' kid? Like, that is just, like, destroying the entire foundation of just, like, everyday life. Fuck. We have to figure out a different podcast or just 
delete this podcast. This is like starting to really crumble at my brain. I'm like, oh my God, maybe I really am adopted and I just have no fucking idea. Or I, no, I don't think my mom would have fooled around. She's too like by the books. And she like cares about people. <laughs> Crazy. Anyways, let's do a voicemail. Okay, this one is slightly longer than the normal ones I pick. How long? I feel like this person really needed advice. Oh, so to be serious. Okay, got it. Thank you for well, the no, I mean, thank you for still, the preface because I'm like literally practicing for my OnlyFans moment. I'm like, how long is it? No, but how long is it? Like five it's, minutes? It's 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 a one minute forty seconds. Oh, that is that hey, one. Chris. Hey. So I'm in some desperate need of advice at the moment. Okay. So it's I'll Valentine's try. Day, and I have a girlfriend. I know, bragging, whatever, but. You know, I do have an issue. So anyway, I'm more excited so that I have straight I male have fans. a girlfriend. I love my girlfriend. I think she's beautiful. I'm attracted to her. Whatever, everything you need to be. But I just, I know, I think I'm bisexual. There it is. But I just don't know. It's just I. They just men. They just. It just. I don't know. I just. It doesn't make me feel the same way. I know I'm attracted to her, but it doesn't make me feel the same way as whenever I'm attracted to a man. So I don't think that I'm just gay because I do think find girls attractive and I do get turned on by them. I know that, that kind of sounds cringy, but um, <laughs> thank you for saying I'm it. I'm in a dilemma right now because, you know, I can't just break up with her because I do want to be in a relationship with her. I just I don't want to hurt their feelings. Mm-hmm. We were friends before we were so dating. I don't want to hurt pure. my friends to think I'm like a horrible fucking person for breaking up with them. But. I also wrong don't want to just keep leading her on and making her feel like I like her more and more whenever in reality, I just, I really don't know if there's a connection there. Like, I don't know. It's, is it, is it that I'm in a relationship that other things are making me so horny or is it, I don't know. Like, I, Girl, I, don't either. I, I need advice. I need your advice, Chris. Do I break up with her because, and tell her the truth? Why am I... I don't want to ruin anyone's life. <sighs> I'm not going to ruin anyone's life. Fuck in high school. You're in high school? <laughs> oh my God, bitch. Just take a breather. <laughs> One breath. Just a... Oh, wait, hold on. I wasn't ready for the breath in. All right, guys, we're going to do a quick Chris Clemens ease app thing. Inhale. I can't inhale and do that. Okay, this wasn't meant for me. Um. Okay, wow. That is like moving day, bitch. There's a lot to unpack. Um... <laughs> Okay, you're in high school. That's the big one. You don't want... Okay, first of, first of all, people who get in relationships have to understand that there is the possibility of them ending and they will be heartbroken. You're not ruining anyone's life if someone tells you that they're ruining your... Their, your if you're ruining their life, they're being dramatic, unless you literally ruin their life. <laughs> but breaking up with someone isn't that. Okay, are you bi? Wait. They said something about... I get turned on by guys, but I get turned on not as much by girls. Is that what he said? I, he said. <sighs> I want to listen to it again, but I'm like, like I, attracted to his girlfriend. And yeah. Women, but that it's in a different way that he's attracted to men in a in a different way. So or, is, I don't know. Yeah, that's See, weird. that's he what very, like, that's no very confused, which is like normal, bro. You're it's going to be fine. <laughs> it seems like the end of the world now. You're going to be good. Um. Yeah, and then he was like, I just don't feel that attraction to her. So I'm like, okay, well, if that... He said something He's, that was like, okay, end it. Yeah, yeah, he said he didn't know if there was a connection there. So yeah, it's like if, if you don't know, there that. might not. Yeah. <clears throat> and also, you're in high school just once again. So I would... At first, I was thinking you're like in a college vibe, which I would say, talk to your girlfriend and be like, hey having these feelings, da-da-da-da-da. Maybe she's feeling the same way. Maybe she wants to plunge into puss pool, you know? Um, But I would, if you're in high school, I would go with your gut, bro. You're so young and you, this is the time to figure your shit out. Like, you want to do this now, not when you're like 40 with kids. Um, Yeah, it doesn't sound like you're super gung-ho about your girlfriend, like, I feel like you want yourself to be, but, like, it's it feels forced based off of that. Don't do anything. Don't take any of this advice. Like, I don't know the full story, but I personally, if you're in this kind of turmoil, I would break up with the girl. 
or ask her to peg you. That's always a first step. I think that could end it for you if you want it also. But I would break up and see what I like. That's what I personally would do. But also in high school, I was actually a quiet, awkward virgin. So take that advice for what you will. Is there anything I missed? I mean, it sounds like they're that was like they, a long... they were really close friends, and I think that that's what seems to it's giving it's like hard to. I also feel like it's hard to learn the skill to break up with someone, but to learn it well is important. Yeah, I so would just be <laughs> like, "Hey, I'm having a lot of conflicting thoughts." Mom, why is my phone on ringer again? Um, oh, wait, let's, yeah, let's see what she has to say. Yes, hey, mom. Hey, what's up? Hey, mom. Are you there? Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Me? Hello? Can you hear me? Mom? Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Hey, what's up? You're on the podcast. Oh, boy. Uh, how did I get so lucky? You called, baby. You just had a connection. You miss it so much. Oh, I do, actually. But, um, mm-hmm. yeah, I was just going to uh, catch you up. I had lunch with Mrs. Smith, so... I was going to get you caught up, but the podcast does not want to hear that. So yeah. <laughs> um, I will end, end on just house stuff, but I will catch you another time. All righty. What do you have to say to the people listening in? Oh, boy. Um, I'm feeling unhinged, I guess. <laughs> okay. I love you. Wait, tell her to say hi. Love you. Oh, wait. Hold on. Your best friend, say hi. Oh, hi. Hey, everybody. I miss you so much. We miss you, too. Miss you she doesn't I have that kind of excitement for me. I was telling people here about my time. I can't remember who I was talking to, but I, I said, like, oh, yeah, I'm, they're all my friends now. And, you know, um, I'll probably miss the Smith at lunch telling you. Yeah, oh, my God, so, Mom, I yeah. love you. I do. Yeah. And, of course, it's very fair for you to hang up and everyone there go, oh, my shit, what does that old bag think we're her friends? So that's fair. Mom, <laughs> have some fucking <laughs> self-love, bitch. <laughs> no, everybody here loves you. We love you. Come yeah, visit I'm too. A... Yeah, they want yeah, you to I come like visit. You too. Yeah, I was talking about that again at lunch. So, um, yeah. It turns I out you will, are just debriefing um, me on your lunch. <laughs> I, I pretty much am. I mean, yeah. I was saying I got to get out there. So, uh, anyway, we'll do. Incredible. Well, I love you, Mom. Right, I'll call you in a little. Podcast. Peace out, podcast people. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 I don't know why I'm waving. It's a phone call. I love Bye. you. Bye. Okay. Anyways, I thought maybe we should ask her advice. I know it'd I be was hard to. C- c- I, yeah, that. I don't feel like yeah. relaying the whole. Hey, mom, there's a kid in high school. Oh, whoops, I spoiled the ending. Shocker, he's in high school. But, um, yeah, I feel like we gave solid advice on that. Was there? I don't think there was anything we missed. I would just like break up and figure yourself out. You know, watch some different porn. <laughs> That's a good start. <laughs> it is. See what you like. That's how you really tell what turns you on. And if it, there's a lot of hair pulling, maybe draw a line. Um, let's do another voicemail. I don't feel like reading secrets. They're kind of sad today. Hey, Chris. My hey. name is Constantina. Constantina? Um, I'm calling because I need advice about a professor. Yes, I did just say a professor. I started school like about, I don't know, like three weeks She's ago. Doing and I feel like she already hates my guts. Oh. And like the other day, or like two weeks ago, I think. Um, she called me out for using my phone, even though I was taking my classmates' numbers down and was like, I wasn't even trying to hide my phone, you know. Um, and then today, she, we were having like a group discussion, and then she was like, um, do you want to contribute something to the conversation, even though I was trying to get something out, but everyone in my group is like, they're just, they're, they know each other well, so I was just trying to talk, but I didn't have a chance. I feel like she hates me, and she gave me a 73 on something I worked really hard on. I feel like she could tell. But, yeah, so I think she hates me. I need some advice. Do you think I should say something to her or maybe try to talk to her more in class, like participate? Yeah, I, I don't know. I have a feeling I know what you're going to say. But, yeah. <laughs> I don't even um, know what I'm going to say. Thank you for listening to me. No, thank- Bye. I kind of zoned out. I didn't fully listen. I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but I did hear the general gist, and it did bring me back to my time at college. Here's the thing I've learned, and this might make me unpopular. I mean, actually, oh, God, honestly, I've blacked out so much of school that I kind of forget how things went. 
But like usually if a teacher gives you a 73, it doesn't matter how hard you worked on it. A lot of times that's what it earned. I would go if you have contention to that grade, I would say, hey, I put a lot of effort and work into this. Where did I go wrong? I would love to improve for the next time. If you're really that concerned, that's what I would do. I don't think you should call your teacher out for being a bitch. Guess what? It's their room, their captain. Hate to tell you, it sucks, but it's just how it works. I know it's crazy. It's like, wait, aren't I paying tuition and that tuition goes to their cell? Yeah, no, it doesn't make sense, guys. Don't overthink it. You'll spend so much time angry. <sighs> just trying to read a textbook. Um, But yeah, I would, I would, sorry, I was looking at Booker's paw. It looks jacked. Um, I would, oh my God, I don't know what I would do. I would just like get through the semester and never take a class from this person again. I mean, no, really, like sometimes there's just shitty classes you have to get through. And if you're always getting ragged on, I would just like not tune it out, but like take it with a grain of salt. It doesn't seem like you care or respect this bitch. So why do you care or respect what she has to say or they have to say? Anyways, that felt pretty good and poetic. Feels good. Sticking it to the moon. Sticking it to the prof. Did you guys ever go... Did you guys ever rate my professor? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That shit was criminal. How was that, like, legal? And they have, like, the spicy rating? The Oh, my God. Yeah, like, the looks. The looks and, like, what people thought. Like, oh, my God. The fact that you could just Yelp review your teacher is so fucked up. But, like, everything. Oh, my God, everything. But if I was a teacher, I, that would be my, like, 8th, ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th reason. I would be devastated. I wrote shit anonymously. I was like, this bitch fucking sucks. Her horse mouth called me a smart ass. <laughs> I mean, she did, and then she got. I got her fired. Ah. Miss Miller, won't forget you. Blonde hair, literal, like, Sarah, she made Sarah Jessica Parker... Sarica? <laughs> she made Sarah Jessica Parker look like a normal fucking set of teeth. I mean, I can like still like, oh, it just felt like the biggest fucking teeth. You got her fired? Yeah, she called me a smart ass. Mm. I was in sixth grade. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, right? That was just college. No. <laughs> oh, in college, like I was like, <laughs> yeah, bitch, I am a smart ass. <laughs> Not in this class, but I'm a smart oh, ass. That's awful. Right? And, like, in my school, it was, like, if you had a shirt untucked, you were, like, detention. So, like, th it was just, like, crazy. So that was, like, scandalous. I loved it, though. I ate up every moment. I was, like, I sat in the back of the room, and I go, I stood up. I go, that's disgusting. And I walk out. I slam the door. And then she got fired. I hope she's doing poorly. Um, let's do a voicemail. I like the voicemails. I'm over the secret. Hey, Chris. Oh, God, hey. Um, so one time <laughs> in, I yeah. was a little drunk and yeah? playing, uh, I think it was Cards Against Humanity or some shit. Oh, okay. Um, with, sorry if I said that word online, but um, with a bunch of friends. And there was so much commotion going on with trying to figure out what we wanted for DoorDash that I did not realize. Until I got the confirm or like the orders were out for delivery notification that I had ordered from like Taco Bell, Buffalo Wild Wings, yeah, this is, <laughs> and like another place. This is a classic Christmas. I, move. We had a feast, but that's all I have to say. Mm -hmm. Have a great day. Thank you. Yep, that is otherwise known as a Tuesday for me. Yeah, that happens more often than not in New York City. I literally was the king. Ugh, God. I have, like, literal, like, you know what raw chicken looks like? Why does the back of my fucking leg look like that? What? Look at it. Show it to camera. Does, it has, like, bumps and shit. If there's any dermatologists out there, can you... Can you fucking fix this? What the fuck? I look like I could play the live-action chicken run or chicken little or <laughs> chicken soup for the soul or whatever the fuck is going on. Oh, my God. I'm, like, disturbed. I can't carry on. I'm, like, I have to pop this zit really quick if that's even what you are. What Ow. I don't know what's happening. I should not have a fucking podcast. I thought raw chicken was like smooth. What do you? Have you ever touched raw chicken? It has like bumps on it. Oh, you mean like what? okay? You know, like I'm the skin. Of, like, they pull the feathers out, and it has like those bumps. <laughs> oh. I had a fried chicken for a summer job once, just so I could have fucking money to study abroad. <clears throat> not worth it <laughs> at had, all. You had what for it? 
You had what for a summer job? I had, so I, the listing was dishwasher. And so I was like, okay, I can wash dishes, I guess. Okay, so I guess I didn't read the fine print, which didn't exist. But it was chicken fryer. Um, <clears throat> oh, you fried chicken for a summer job. No, no, no. I It was dishwasher, chicken. I had to, <sighs> ugh, this is like one of those things that is, I mean, just forever burned into my trauma brain. They would have like four giant rectangular kitchen buckets of raw chicken sitting in juice. <gasps> like just chicken juice. Like, ugh. And I would have to take them out one by one, wash them off, put it in egg wash, put it in flour, put it in egg wash, put it in flour, and then put it in a new container. to Because then they would just pull all the battered things out, put it in the... I had to do... Fourth of July was like my... <laughs> I mean, the amount of chicken I had to wash and batter. (gasps) This was every day for three months. I thought I was going to die until um, one of my other duties. This was like a, this was in like a house and like the lower, the first floor was like the kitchen and the eating area. And then the top floor was like where the family is like a family owned business. And then they lived above. So it was like literally in a house. And... So when, like, the Cisco trucks would come full of, like, the food delivery, I was the one who had to bring it down to the basement because everybody else who worked there was, like, 55 plus in age. And they apparently couldn't – that meant they couldn't lift lettuce and bring it downstairs. (laughs) Um, So I had to unload so many groceries and bring them downstairs into, like, this basement, which – think of an unfinished basement and then think of a cave. Because that is like it, it, like an unfinished basement makes this basement sound luxurious. There were like pi- I hit my head on a pipe the first day. They made me clean out. The, oh my god, I forgot about this. On my very first day, they made me clean out the entire cellar. Like that where like, so they had like a few big fridges, then like shelving where they would keep the non perishable stuff, and then they had like shelving. I had to clean out like spider webs, all these bugs. There were just bugs all over me. I was just crying. I turned around. I hit my head on a pipe. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to fucking die here. This is so not fair. Why couldn't I just be a trust fund baby? Oh, I thought I was going to die. So I would have to like, oh, and the ceiling was really low. So I'd have to like hunch over the whole time while carrying like heavy fucking shit. Oh my God. I pulled my, so I pulled my back that summer. Why am I even talking about this? Because I didn't believe you about chicken. Oh, chicken skin. So, yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, and then I also was the bus boy. And then I was also like a food prepper. At the same place? At the same place, all and in a work. And it home? It yeah. It sounds like, like a plot to a strange horror film. It was. Just, like the little chicken it boy is. in the cellar. It is. I'm not even going to put the restaurant name on blast. I don't know why. Y'all were kind of awful to me. How was the chicken, though? Oh, bussin', bitch. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) I mean, and the friend, I mean, the food was good. That's, like, the fucked up part is that, like, I can't even go back to get some because I'm like, later, fuckers. Did you get to eat for free? Well, that was, yeah, but it was, like, so since I literally carried this restaurant on my fucking back, I was like, okay. (laughs) Like, I would chop, I would get to the point where I would chop stuff and, like, on slow days, because there weren't many dishes or there weren't this or that, I would help, like, make food. So I learned how to make, like, a roux and all of that. Wait, what was your question? I said, did they, like, Oh, you got- eat for free. So I would make this, like, salad every day that was just, like, romaine, like, pretty fucking basic. But, like, I was literally running this restaurant. I was starving. And I'm in high school, or no, college. I'm like, okay, I'm going to make a salad. They came, They had the audacity to come up to me one day and say the portions I was taking for lunch were too big. I was like, well, uh, that's interesting because I'm kind of hungry still. <laughs> that's fucked. Fucked! Absolutely fucked. Listen, I am not asking for a gold bar, or a handy J under the table, or fucking anything besides a paycheck. <laughs> and a fucking free meal. Oh my God, I was livid. I was like, you guys can Fuck yourselves. Like that was the problem with the and business. I, I, they, <laughs> they had the audacity to tell me with a bad back that I pulled on the... I could sue them. Emotional distress. Hi, jury. My name is Chris. And can you tell I'm emotionally distressed? 
Yeah, it was just like awful. But chicken skin. It's not leaving my head that image. I really don't understand how we got here. You're that was like a fun therapy, though. No, it was because of the chicken skin leg situation. Yeah, no, I got it. Well, but... also, in the voicemail was about ordering a lot of different food. I forgot about that. Are you accusing me of taking too big of portions again? No. <laughs> cool. Thanks. No. Hi, I'm Chris, fat bitch of the century. I eat all the food. Do you ever, like, if you're ordering from several fast food locations at once, do you ever, like, cross-pollinate? You know what I mean? Like, you use, like, the sauce of, like, from, like, a Taco Bell burrito. Mm. Or, oh, or like you like sometimes I don't know I'm usually too stoned at that point but knowing my habits and tendencies yeah probably mm-hmm. yeah no for sure oh my god yes probably not Taco Bell like hot sauce I, you know what I mean yeah but no I, I don't uh, <laughs> I, I put in and out sauce on a, a McDonald's cheeseburger once <gasps> I thought you would have like some in and out spread is yeah what are your guys' go to ordering spots do you guys order a lot uh uh no I usually drive I usually drive her too. God bless. I know he made fun of me because I wanted to order Taco Bell the other day. Why is that making? You gotta go. He was there. like, "Just get a car." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have a flaming hot tortilla shell now. Really? Oh my god! I got it the other night. Is it actually spicy? Is it like fast food spicy? I mean, listen. Is it like gonna be featured on an episode of Hot Ones? I don't think so, girl. But it was like. It's like the Doritos one. Is that but, but yeah, I was just about to say it's like the cheddar Doritos Locos, but better. I thought mm. it's like a, the it's like a taki shell. It was like oh. a like literally. <laughs> I would have given that bitch a nasty BJ. Oh my god, that shit was fire. And then I got the tacos with potatoes on them instead of like meat. <gasps> no, it's so good. Oh my god, it's like having French fries and Taco Bell. Just Taco potatoes Bell and fries? cheese. Yeah, it's oh. like tomato or potatoes. What is on it? Potatoes, lettuce, I guess like tomatoes. What comes on a fucking? <laughs> I, I get it. I get no cheese, and I did get the sour <laughs> you said cream. There was cheese. Oh, I get the nacho cheese. Oh, okay, got it. That nacho cheese, like I, that is like a new weakness I've developed is nacho cheese, like that just gooey shit that I want to like rub on my fucking nipples and like have someone lick off, someone being me. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, have you ever wanted boobs just to be able to see if you could Can you lick your nipple with boobs? <laughs> Probably. Like, have you ever tried it? No, that's why men and women are different because men are disgusting. I got it. I, I just don't think I've ever tried that. What? Oh my god, that is fascinating. The first thing But I'm sure I could. You would Wait. do with boobs? Oh my god, absolutely. I would give a nice little squeeze and I go, "Okay, let's put these bitches to work." Uh, I wasn't going to slurp on them, okay? That was me just trying to literally look down <laughs> while get my tongue out of my mouth. Oh, God. Who's regretting? Just so many things. I am. Um, Where are we? I don't I have no I'm scared. I don't know. Everyone's like, okay, so we are watching a workplace, <laughs> correct? I'm like, well, technically it's my living room. But also technically, yes, I guess it is a workplace. And I did just ask the producer if she can lick her nipple on her boob. So, uh, do we have any more voicemails? I have another one. Mm. I think this one made me angry. Ooh, I'm down to get angry. Um, To freedom! Hey, Chris. Hey. Here's my little clusterfuck right now. Love. I will not lie, this makes me look like a toxic red flag. And that's on me, silly live, laugh, love. Yeah, the shoe fits. So... Long story short, I dated a boy in high school and we broke up because he couldn't talk about his feelings, like most oh, boys. And that's a huge ever since, we've him. kind of been on and off fuck buddies. And when I mean fuck buddies, no, it is that truly in the most toxic way possible. I got it. it hasn't mattered if we've been in a relationship. It's like I simply become possessed. Right now, I am seeing someone, but we haven't really made anything official. However, he's in a relationship and we did a silly little hangout and we got a little high, had some drinks and then fucked again and it just like like i don't even know like i went on a date with this guy and so and lo and behold like the couple days after this happened he was also at this place on a date with someone and i had a little talk afterwards being like we cannot do this anymore because this is just (laughs) too much give a fucking buddy a heads up like this talk about dating came up again and you know he was saying how like he loved my family and i love his family very much and um you know like Am I on he just Molly? doesn't want to risk it for some reason like risk losing me but at this point i've been around long enough we've had our ups and downs so 
I don't really know. I wouldn't mind risking it. But what do you think? I think he's going to fucking cheat all on right, you. That's oh, all. bye. Yeah, bye. Yeah, thanks. He's going to fucking cheat on you. What are you talking about? Hello? J- Google Tristan Thompson and then resend in a voicemail, okay? Once a cheater, always a fucking cheater. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? And then to just blindside, and then I got some cock. <laughs> God! Fucking damn, bro. <sighs> you know the answer. You know the answer. Ditch the bitch, get better cock. God, I'm spitting saliva. Uh- <laughs> No, it was a really bad time to be rubbing my lips, uh, slive off of my lips. But, um, yeah. (sighs) What the fuck? I don't care. Do whatever. (laughs) Do whatever you fucking want. You're a monster. (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) What am I supposed to say to that? You know what you're, you you know the answer. I'm not going to sit here and enable my God, that is lunacy. She needs to take a big step back. I don't, I don't even know what the doctor's prescription would be for this. I mean, what the fuck? I, am, I get why you were angry by that yeah, one. I named it Cheating Fuck Buddies. <laughs> but maybe, you know what? Maybe you guys, here we go. My brain, the gears are kicking. I got angry. I tired myself out. And here we go. Maybe you guys are, like, you guys should be in a relationship. You guys can cheat on each other. And be shitty people forever. I'm kidding. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) No, I mean, honestly, I think there might be something there if you guys just have, like, an open relationship. Wait. Yeah, isn't that what you're already doing? Isn't that what fuck buddies are is just an open relationship? What is the difference? Yeah, but they both like to this weird secrecy, probably. Oh, I don't know. God, see a therapist. All righty, that's my advice. Suddenly I'm like, okay, maybe I might take a secret. God. I, what the fuck? Ugh, I just have such a low tolerance for cheating. I reported my ex-boyfriend to the police for selling weed because he cheated on me. Okay. Wow. (laughs) Was the secret me? Maybe. (laughs) I'm like, wow, I fucking hate people who cheat. I turned my ex-boyfriend in for cheating on me. (laughs) Yeah, that... Listen. What you should have done, actually, is gotten a lot of his weed and then turned him in. The fucking narcs don't need the weed. You do. I guess you are the narc. You both are narcs. Once a narc, always a narc. Narcotics unit victims. I don't know. It felt like a chain. What is that? Chain. Word chain? Blockchain? Chain mail? Wordle. Acronym? No, like a uh, word association. Uh. <laughs> Oopsies. Do we have another voicemail? One that will maybe make me happy or aroused? We could do that thing where I pick a normal. Oh, it went away. We could play a random one that I haven't listened to. Oh my god, you're fucking wild. Let's do it. Find it again. Run a run a secret while she's doing that. Oh, run a secret. Um, once I oh like a, oh oh oh. <laughs> god, wow, I was like, whoa, god, <laughs> why am I revealing stuff? Alrighty, another secret. I have a porn Twitter account. Ooh, same. So clutch. It's like going through a timeline of porn. It's everything. And sometimes I post my nudes on there just for fun, and I get DMs from like forty year old men wanting to fuck me. So good thing I haven't done it in a while. Real men wanted to fuck me. So good thing I haven't done it in a while. She doesn't like the unsolicited. Uh... Oh, I don't get this. Wow, we should would have just been better in silence. I feel just like a little moment for <laughs> all of the brain cells I've lost filming this. Um, do I have a secret? Do you have a secret? I have news. What nudes? News. <laughs> On my porn, on my secret Twitter. No, uh, <laughs> oh, news. Yeah, oh, news. my God. Um, one of my cats has herpes. What? What? Yeah. All right. I would have actually rather had another moment of silence. <laughs> Wait, what does that even mean? Uh, apparently. How yeah. did you find this out? Well, yesterday I was working, so Justina took uh, our cat, Walter, because uh, he had like a... like. Wait, what are your cat's names? Reno and Walter. That's adorable. But um, he... See, I like cats-ish. <laughs> <laughs> um, when we first got them as kittens, they had like sinus infections and stuff. 
Uh, and so that was like a whole round of like antibiotics and shots. Oh and stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, one so in one of his eyes is is kind of like dribbly or like droopy, right? Or like mucusy, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, Booger has that shit all the time. And uh, oh, well, oh. I don't know. But apparently, herpes in cats is like not. It's like it's a very common thing in kittens, and it's something that it, it goes away in like two weeks if you wait. How does cat herpes go away, but it. human herpes don't? I have no idea. Hi, medical community. No, you guys have been a through derma- a lot. We, we Never need, mind. We need a dermatologist and a, and a veterinarian to comment. <laughs> yeah. And to come over to my house and fix me. Yeah, they could take care of Booger's paw and your chicken leg. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Booger's paw is like a chunk missing from her, like, paw pad. Hmm. I don't know. Like, okay, so here's the dilemma I run into with my dog's paw pad. Oh, my God. Like, all of them are missing the same chunk. Hold. Pause. Hmm. Literally. Pause. pause. As I look at her paws. Um, yeah, I don't understand. So I have this, like, lube for her feet that's supposed to, like, moisturize or whatever. Uh, the problem is she walks on her fucking feet, so how do I put it on? I tried doing the sock thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so much fucking work to put four socks on a dog. I'm not doing that shit. So now I'm just kind of like, okay, I don't really know what to do. Because I don't want that goop all over my house. You could just put the shoes on when you do it like a spa treatment like every once in a while you have to do it every day no oh, i'm not so that's definitely out of the picture get her slides i'll put shoes on her <laughs> hey bug do you want some yeezys andrew wants belugas but then when you do you under do you know if it's safe to buy yeezys off stock x <laughs> andrew wants belugas oh god that is like literally one of my f- i Don't want to talk to me about yeezys, yeezys right now <laughs> That is so iconic but it's like imagine slides but then when you put your foot in it, it's like there's like lube at the end <laughs> that was upsetting that was really upsetting that's like a condom it's literally a condom for your foot which i guess is what a sock is hmm. a foot condom there. anyways did you find a voicemail people are like wow we could have just really done a nice little break from talking i haven't listened to these so these are we're just playing random ones yeah no that was okay. <laughs> hey chris big fan long time <laughs> listener first time trauma dumper Oh, anyway, God. Um, oh, God, I've only had one relationship, and it was in high school with a nasty re- Republican. Um, for reference, I'm about to graduate college, and I've tried dating apps, but they've never ended well. And I just want to know, how do adults meet people? That like, do I have to be social? Uh, how can I do it without going to bars alone and getting kidnapped? <laughs> I go to a lot of gigs and shows, but, like, I'm into punk, so whenever I go to these shows, the guys that are there are usually punching each other in the pit. That's not a good way to approach people, I guess. No, so, definitely anyway, not. Anyway, love you. Give Booger a kiss. Thanks. Oh, Bye. I will right now. Um, how do I meet people? I don't know. You're, yeah. Uh, like, I've met a lot of people on, like, through social media apps. It's felt like... Oh my god, it's felt like when I started out YouTube and I was making all these internet friends, especially with like TikTok, I just follow because there's so many talented people on there. And so I've just made so many new friends on that. I don't get to see them in real life, but that's honestly kind of better. You know, it keeps the mystery, safe distance. Yeah, I don't know. I'm lonely. <laughs> so if you find out, let me know. Please, please call back. <laughs> please just call back so I have someone to talk to. No, um... I don't know how to meet adults. I I think I have like literal agoraphobia where I don't want to leave my house and I hate being in public and I get really awkward and shy. So I really don't think I could be a worse specimen for you to be asking. Do you guys have any advice? Well, if she's already going out, like she's going to these punk shows, but she's saying that but people is, are beating I thought she was in the punk shows. I think she thinks she's into punk, like the scene. Uh, but I was going to say she, because there's still bars there, she could... But she's not guys. Get she could just buy someone a drink or like, take a shot. So much should I be buying her a drink? She's the one trying to meet people though, or like put her. I don't know. It's just. A, I would just honestly. Like, I would just like I be at a bar, of. and then like start a conversation and pull a boob out, and then just turn the other way and see what the person says. What? Pull a boob out, try and see if you can suck your nipple. Try to get you yeah, <laughs> I got it, guys. Who, look, you want to see me suck my nipple? And then whoever is most impressed, you take home. Look at that. It's oh, and they'd probably. <laughs> We're, we're problem solvers. No. We are. <laughs> Have you seen 30 Rock? Yeah. When Jenna and Tracy are the problem solvers mm-hmm. and they put on the sh- yeah, we're they just put like on that. the shirts that say solver problems. <laughs> <laughs> or no, it's we are problem solver. And then they put 
we are problems and then on the back solvers <laughs> anyways oh god yeah i don't have advice for you i'm figuring that one out myself <sighs> tell me to look for another random one why not i'm kind of this might be the last one i'm feeling tired oh papa needs a nap um okay, justin do you want to pick one? <gasps> oh my gosh this is fun wait i'm gonna give you a number and then just count three count however many down um six okay Six. Okay. Here we go. Hi. First of all, the voicemail thing just cut right in and out. So, um, I give you permission to use this for whatever you want, no matter what. But oh. like, don't really know what I'm signing off on here. Me at the beginning of this episode. I'm just calling to say. God, what was I calling to say? That took me really by surprise. This is just watching your thing about LA, moving out of LA. That new podcast episode, front of Fuck Back, whatever. And I just wanted to ask. What are, like, the best spots in L.A.? Because I'm going on a trip. I'm not moving or anything, but I'm going on a trip with my family soon. And, uh, yeah, I just figure you're probably having some adventures in L.A. So. Oh, God, no. Where are, like, the local spots, you know? The Things you'd only know after living there for a little while and yeah. adventuring. And that's pretty much it. That's all I want to say. Um, oh. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Let's hang up the phone now. Hopefully I didn't mumble. I did not have that close to my no, mouth. No, you oh, did. I probably did. Yeah, you know, you did for so sure. But I got the gist. Is it over? Yes. Okay, wow. That Love you. Thank you for calling. No no tea. A lot of, lot of airtime. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I thank you for listening to the last podcast episode. I do have some spots. I find it hard, though, with spots in LA because it's like they just end up being the spots that ever like I don't know it just feels like such a populated city that like it just feels like even the random spots are like still crowded um here I actually have an LA on my like Google or on my Apple Maps I heart places that I like so if people are like I'm in this area where do I eat I just open up my LA food and they all appear on the map um let's see there's a place called Superba Food and Bread that place is gas um, Nick's on Beverly is really good. Um, if you like vegan food, Croft Alley, I really like. It's like a nice, simple, like, lunch spot. Um, there's a sushi place called Taisho, T-A-I-S-H-O. In the Valley, they've got really good sushi. Um, I like Hugo's, uh, Hugo's restaurant. Some people don't, but I like it. It's just, like, simple, nice American food. Um... Bakari in Silver Lake. Oh my god, it's to die for. Um, what is that? Matsuhisa is another good one. Um, Pache on Laurel Canyon. Um, I do have a favorite Mexican place, but yeah, I'm you not. Give that up. I'm not Tell telling us. a You're single. Moving. I'm not telling a single fucking person. Okay, and that's just how it's gonna go. Um, Ciccone, Ciccone's is good, or Ciccone's, I don't know how to fucking speak Italian. Um, I like Craig's, I know that that's controversial, just because some people are like, it's boring. Um, Nobu, obviously, but that's, like, insane. Um, yeah, wow, this is a pretty embarrassing thing, but that was a good start, I felt. Oh, and then go to, like, the Stizzy, uh, headquarters downtown if you're gonna get, like, weed, Let's see. I like Herbarium as well. Um, Higher Path in the Valley is my dispensary. Um, Probably shouldn't have just said that, but here we are. Oh, my God. I'm having a lot of gastrointestinal problems. (laughs) This is my last episode. (sighs) God, wouldn't that be a fucking dream? Anyways, thanks for listening. Um, Be sure to rate and review this episode wherever you listen to podcasts, but mostly on Apple Music so we can, like, do something on the charts. Honestly, the dream is kind of dead. Um, And uh, be sure to subscribe to Unhinged with Chris Cummins wherever you listen to podcasts and watch the video episodes on YouTube.com slash Chris. All right, you guys, I have to go. Oh, no, I have to literally go film Sunday's video on the street. So catch you later. Bye. The silence of people. Yeah, the awkward. <laughs> <laughs>